This is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and the YouTube channel you are watching. In the cuts that you just saw, I was pulling plugs right out of my lawn to illustrate and show and teach what exactly thatch is, um, what it does for your lawn uh, negatively, what's healthy, and I don't know, how to diagnose it. And uh, eventually we're going to talk about getting rid of it. The first plug that I pulled out of the lawn uh, was over in kind of the worst section of my yard for thatch. This is a good example. So deep down there's dirt, soil. On the top there's grass. Uh, inside the grass you can see, well not inside the grass, but under the grass you can see that there is this material right here which is neither dirt nor grass the roots are in there basically this is what thatch is this is what thatch is in a bad um, bad amount of it uh, lawns that are healthy tend to have far far less of this now when you step on it you get that squishy sensation that you're stepping on like a sponge in your lawn it's because of the thatch look at that it's like an accordion it'll stretch up and down and anyway not to make the point too long but when you water the grass or when rain comes and hits the grass it will trickle down through the blades and it will go into this spongy area um, which is mostly, contrary to popular belief, this is not dead grass clippings. There might be a little bit on top, and in some of my older videos, if you're a subscriber, you've probably watched them, uh, where I used a thatch rake on the top, and I was pulling off um, stuff like this right there. Let's see, where's the... So right on the top, that's basically just dead grass clippings on the top. But everything underneath, this is basically organic matter that has not broken down. A lot of it is roots, a lot of it is stolons, rhizomes, um, some dead grass clippings that are just in there. Uh, basically, this material is supposed to break down, uh, decompose, and slowly become soil again. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the thatch layer, it kind of looks like I'm too close. It won't won't focus on it. There we go. Um, it kind of looks like it's transforming. The thing is, it's not transforming fast enough. Now, when you water this spongy this spongy material, the water will literally stay in here just like a sponge, and it won't trickle down into the soil. So all of the grass growing on top. The roots, you want the roots to grow deep. That way you don't have to water as often. It's the whole concept of watering deeply and infrequently doesn't really work if the thatch layer is too great. You water really, really deeply and this thatch layer just absorbs it. This is a full inch thick, probably even more. Even if it's compressed, it's a solid inch thick. So when we talk about watering deep and putting an inch of water down on the soil. It's mostly getting absorbed and held in this thatch layer, just like a sponge would hold water on your kitchen counter. Everything down below doesn't really get very moist, so the root system for the grass stays in here. So when this dries out, the grass will slowly uh, start to die out as well. Basically, the, the roots of the grass can't go deep because all of the water is trapped in this spongy layer. Now, if you watch some of my other videos um, where I use the thatch rake and, and talk about thatch a little bit more, um, like for instance, I have one on how to use a thatch rake and, um, and it's got, you know, a lot of people have watched it. Um, but what I didn't really go into is when the thatch is this thick and this 
uh, substantial. Even if you use that thatch rake or even like a mechanical, uh, uh, like a mechanical device to to remove the thatch, this is just too much. Like you can't get rid of it. Um, if you do, you're basically removing all of the grass and all of the root system of the grass. You might as well just start over. Right now, as I break this apart, I'm going to take this bottom layer out, just kind of crush it a little bit here. And you can see there's a couple danglies here, but the vast majority of it is up here in the top in this in this thatch layer. So, I mean, that's just, there's, a, there's some, some roots there, but the majority of it, as you can see, is all here inside the thatch. Now, this is somewhat moist, fairly dry. Um, I haven't done a deep water on my lawn in probably about five days or so, but this is still kind of moist. If I were to take this and dunk it in water, it would absorb a ton of water and hold on to it pretty well. Then you, you could squeeze it just like you would squeeze a sponge and all the water would, would come out. So if you get that spongy sensation when you're, when you're walking on your lawn, it might be this. Now, I took in the early segment of this video, I showed you three cores. So this is the worst area of my lawn. One of the less bad areas. You can notice, you see how much thin, how much less thatch there is on this one. So this one is far better condition. And the grass on top even looks better. Like it just is more lush than this one right here. One of the better areas of my lawn, even still yet, is the third one that I took. This one is probably about, oh, a third of an inch thick, maybe. It's still got a little bit of the, uh, the squishiness on top, but nowhere near as much. With this one, the roots are going to be further down into the soil because the thatch layer is just not nearly as bad. This one might, this section of my lawn, might take to mechanical uh, dethatching or aggressive use of a thatch rake, but there are other products out there that will help get rid of this thatch, not by the physical removal of it, but by, um, but by the eating of it. So almost like if you throw kitchen scraps into a compost bin and then turn the compost bin and over the course of a few months, your kitchen scraps are now soil. The same thing can be done to this thatch layer without even removing it from the ground. So in the worst areas of my yard for thatch, I plan on doing that. Um, there's a product that I'm going to be testing out, um, and you can hit the subscribe button and follow along. I'm going to put a whole, probably, short series of videos up. So you got to fix the focus there. I'll probably put a series of short videos up um, where I'm applying the product, but the whole point of it is to encourage all of the bacteria uh, microorganisms, all of the miscellaneous things in here that eat, digest, and transform organic matter into soil. Basically, it's going to feed that stuff and make it work better and faster. And it should, in theory, remove the thatch layer without physically picking it up and getting rid of it. It will just slowly turn into soil. And that's exactly what I want for a healthy lawn. It's probably what you want for a healthy lawn too. Um, the product that I'm going to be using, I've never used it before. It is called D-Thatch. Um, not a very creative name, uh, but it is very descriptive on, of what it's supposed to do. So um, check that out. I'm going to be applying that in a few days. Right now it's summer, but it's kind of a cool day. 
I'm going to apply it when it's a little bit warmer uh, in a few days. So um, I hope this was helpful. And uh, hit the subscribe button. Follow along with the progress on repairing my lawn.